Naira Mali, the full unbiased story. Artist Naramali made a name for himself in the Nigerian market with It's a Goal, a collaboration with Olamide and his good friend Lil Cash. The song became such a hit that a big beverage brand endorsed it as their official World Cup song for the Super Eagles and featured additional artists Fowl's Simi and Slim Case on the remix. It's a goal. Little did any of us know at the time that one of the featured artists would make a fairly opinionated speech, ripples of which would land the Malian king in incarceration within the next year. Nara Mali moved to the UK from Nigeria as a young kid in the year 2000 and did most of his growing up in the Peckham area of London. He linked up with a few guys, all with short dreads, and formed the No Manners crew, emerging on the UK scene with Mary Joanna in 2014. Which one? Please let me marry which one? Can I be in the So how can I hire? It's really nice to try, yeah. So how long has a movement you've been together uh, in this music game? Three months, man. Three months. <laughs> we took over, man. Just yeah, in three months. Three months, man. So you're out there repping. Uh, the chain piece is nice. Minor, man. It's only seven bags. Minor. Minor. You can afford that, man. Now, a lot of artists really shouting you out, man. Gigs really co-signing. Skepta, Skepta Kosan, show for the love, well, man. everyone man, everyone, show for the love, show. shout out to the team, yeah, yeah, yeah. keep supporting man, you know how we do, they don't wanna die. <laughs> After Mary Joanna, Naramali turned out a steady stream of tunes that include Praise and Worship with Lumi, a cover of Wizkid's Babanla, Kosi Wiri featuring Alamide, Magic and Flying Away, while straddling both London and Lagos. His 2018 singles, however, It's a Goal and It's a Goal Remix, ensured that the Naira Mali brand became recognized in Nigeria and that he became a mainstream artist. Like a banger, he came out the right time doing the World Cup. And yeah, everything contributed to it, man. Everything. The, the people, allowed me there and cash on the song, um, the fans, the channel he was on, everything contributed to it, you know? In the months that followed, Naira Mali became close friends with a few Niger based artists, dropped more songs, and featured on even more collaborations. But there was trouble brewing. Baby girl, come and give me that thing. Them boy, they can do me nothing. Watch you pull up in the new Bugatti. At the beginning of April 2019, singer Simi took to her Instagram live to answer questions from fans. See, I've been seeing stuff like stuff about this um, today and yesterday. And I think that we, I don't think we realize how urgent this thing is. We are all, all of us are, well, yeah, we are for me survivor. We are for me survivor, and as long as it's not affecting me, you don't realize that it's affecting me. The people that are representing you outside, whatever they're doing outside, shows on you. That's why when we go and ask for a visa and show them our green passport, they're like, yeah, the kind of experience we have with your people, blah blah blah. But the thing is, we need to start to be more responsible individually so that stuff is not affecting the collect the collective is not like don't like, don't use your don't stay my white basically that's what i'm saying this video spawned a number of immediate reactions from a few celebrities including mi sam clef and young six and then on the 19th of may 2019 naira mali also weighed in on the matter writing if you know about slavery you gonna say yahoo no be crime 
Two days later, both Simi and Naira Mali performed at the annual homecoming concert and ran into each other. According to Naira Mali, Simi snubbed him because of his defense of Yahoo, an accusation that Simi denied to be true. It, however, wasn't the first time that an artist would associate advance fee fraud with slavery. In February 2019, Tubaba had said something very similar when suggested by a fan to advise all the Yahoo boys following him on social media to learn forex trading, Tubaba responded with Inwanengbagwe, that teen. We are trying to recover our forefathers' money. Naramali, however, received the backlash that Tubaba didn't. One of the many celebrities that decided to voice his opinion on Naira Mali's utterance in a reaction on social media was Rugged Man. It's Rugged Man. Rugged Man posted a screenshot of Naira Mali's Yahoo justification post and partly captioned it, You can do Yahoo all you want, but do not disrespect the part of the black race that were sold into slavery by trying to use it to justify cybercrime. If it wasn't a crime, Popo won't be busting boys for it. Thousands of qualified Nigerians can't get jobs outside Nigeria because of Yahoo. Their families are suffering. Young Nigerians are suspect everywhere they go because of Yahoo. If you want to do it, enjoy. Nobody is stopping you. But remember that if you do the crime, if you are caught, you do the time. Naramali replied Rugged Man telling him to spend his time writing lyrics to resurrect his career instead of writing advice. He also took his Instagram to try to clarify his stance with a post in his feed reading anything you do in life glorify it and then also explained in his live feed. Just sit there and pray for the hours. If you stop your who, the money will not go past you guys. The money just go like this. From Obasanjo to Tinubu. To Mr. Jappa, to you think me, I need Yahoo. Me, I need Yahoo. Me, I, I make money from music, and you get what I'm saying. A few more celebrity commentaries followed from Brenner Boy, who reckoned that we need to set our priorities straight, to Dami Crane, who insisted that Yahoo Boys are African music ambassadors, before Rugged Man took another swipe at Naira Mali, this time in an interview with Hip TV, saying, For a young upcoming artist like him, he shouldn't be doing stuff like that. You don't just come out and start celebrating fraud, especially something, nothing not just in Nigeria, but the whole world is frowning upon. You don't want to know how they look at Nigerians abroad because of fraud. Do two wrongs make a right? Because the government is making us lack in things like jobs and all, you now want to start stealing and killing and robbing, and you say it is because the government is not providing you with certain things. Everybody in London, in America, in Dublin, we are not supporting that boyo. He's a fraudster on his own. We are hardworking Nigerians. End of quote. Naramali caught the news and almost immediately took to his Instagram to attack the veteran rapper. Rugged man, stop saying my name. Your time is gone. If I'm your coming artist, you are a downgoing artist. In fact, you're gone down. Change your boot cuts, your boot cut jeans. They don't wear that no more. Rather harsh. We had hoped that Rugged Man and Naira Mali could find a way to resolve this brewing beef amicably, and DMW boss Davido seems to have felt the same way. As he appealed to both parties in a video recording he shared on his Instagram. I don't think this is time to, um, you know, fight or do other things. Naira, love you, but you know, we have to respect the legends, you know. I've made mistakes in my career, so many, and sometimes a lot of things I did back then, I'm like, what the f did I do that? And then I said, rugged man as well, you have to understand that also if we're young, we're young, we're thinking about what we're saying, we're thinking, we're thinking about the life we're living on. I know a lot of people. On the same day of Davido's appeal, Naramali and Zlatan released their very controversial. In the lyrics of the song, Naramali actually denied any involvement in fraud. But then days later, on the 10th of May 2019, Naira Mali's birthday, he alongside Zlatan Ibile, Raman Jago and two others were arrested and detained by EFCC in connection with an alleged case of internet fraud and money laundering. Intelligence report had also linked them to cybercrime offenses. Hours after the arrest, Rugged Man was interviewed on City FM by MC Abe and explained how surprised he was about the arrest and the zero reaction from fans. 
Yeah. Some people they trusting me even tell the FCC to go arrest. Are you kidding me? <laughs> if I get that camp power, none of arrest Abby since. <laughs> 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 you know, like, cut you don't do like two shows for London where you know, take me go. <laughs> I'm not lie. When I heard he was picked up this morning, I was happy in a way. That means that's you know now that means we don't get small check. At least that means they now they know people are watching. Now they mm -hmm. know the police is watching, EFCC is watching. Mm -hmm. And at the end, somebody say a rugged man snitched on him. This what? I can't remember one American rap track where you say you played yourself. <laughs> you played you yourself. Played ah! <laughs> now, in, now in comes social media, they talk. Uh, now in comes social media, they try to glorify fraud. Where then they arrest people for, for every day. When Simi was talking the other time, I mean, everybody was like, ah, no, no, my brother, Simi, Simi see trouble. Simi see trouble. You know, it became an issue. He became, <laughs> well, now, we don't see, I'm we don't see trouble. trouble. <laughs> you understand? So, after spending four days in the EFCC nets, Zlatan Ibile, Raman Jago and the two others regained their freedom while Naira Mali remained in custody. A spokesman for the EFCC explained that there is overwhelming evidence against Naira Mali so he couldn't be released on administrative bill like Zlatan and the three others. He however declared that Zlatan had not been discharged and acquitted. <laughs> President Kennedy, one fresh me back your wabiola. Hey, you blogger, blogger. She moved your more yahoo. Within the next couple of days, the EFCC had filed 11 charges bordering on fraud against Naira Mali for alleged credit card fraud. If found guilty, Naira could spend seven years in jail. More fans and celebrities pleaded on Naira Mali's behalf on and off social media. On Monday, the 20th of May 2019, he was arraigned before a federal high court sitting in Lagos where he pleaded not guilty. After the hearing, he was moved from the courtroom to the prison where he's expected to be remanded until the 30th of May 2019 when the court will hear his bill application. <laughs> We sure hope you enjoyed this video. For more entertaining video content such as behind the scenes of music videos and movies, music concerts, premieres, interviews and exclusive gists, subscribe now to our YouTube channel Goldmine TV and be unleashed into a world of super excitement.